Have you ever wanted to use proximity chat on your Minecraft server, but found it too complicated to set up? Or are you looking for a quick and easy way to simplify communication on your Minecraft server? Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install proximity chat on your Minecraft server for Discord without overcomplicating it, without leaving out steps, and most importantly, for free. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me help more people in the Minecraft server community. If you get lost at any point throughout the video, make sure to join my Discord server, where I'll assist you with any problems you've run into. If you are looking for server hosting, I always recommend going with the most bang for the buck server host, Cry Hosting. Cry Hosting is an affordable but powerful server host, offering servers for $2 a gigabyte on the fastest CPU in the world, the Ryzen 9 5950X. Check them out today at cryhosting.net and make sure to use code HIGHPURITY to get 20% off your server. With that out of the way, we can begin the video by discussing the requirements for this tutorial. In order to complete this tutorial, you'll need a Spigot Minecraft server, a Discord account, and a Discord server with at least one voice channel. You'll also need to have developer mode enabled on Discord. If you don't have this enabled already, it's really simple to enable. First, you'll go to your user settings. Then, you'll scroll down to the Advanced tab. Then, just turn on developer mode by flipping on this switch. The first step of this tutorial is to navigate to the first link in the description, where you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. From here, press on the New Application button in the top left. After doing this, just name your application something you'll remember, and then press Create. Once you've named and created your application, you'll see a page that looks like this. Next, on the right-hand side of your screen, you'll need to navigate to the Bot tab. Press on Add Bot, and then press on Yes, Do It. After making this bot, you'll need to scroll down until you see Privilege Gateway Indents. While this may sound fancy, all it really is is a fancy word for different sources of information that your bot can access. Flip all three of these levers, and then save your changes. After doing this, navigate to the second link in the video description. From here, you'll need to navigate back to your Discord developer portal. Go to the General Information category for your application, and copy the application ID right here. Then, navigate back to the other tab and paste that ID in the slot right here. Next, check the box next to the words Administrator right here, and then press on the link at the bottom of the screen. Once you've done this, you'll see a page that looks like this. From here, select the server you'd wish to use Proximity Chat in and press Continue. Then, press Authorize and complete the recapacha. After doing this, navigate to the third link in the video description, where you'll be taken to this page. This is the plugin that will be doing all of the heavy lifting for us and makes proximity chat possible. In order to download this plugin, press on the download button right here, and then press on save. From here, navigate to your server's plugins folder and upload your file here. Once the file has completed uploading, restart your server. After restarting your server, navigate back to the Plugins folder. You'll notice a folder called Scoice here. Open this folder, and then open the data.yml file located right here. From here, you'll need to navigate back to your Discord developer portal. Then, on the left, you'll need to navigate to the Bot tab, and then press Copy right here. Please note that anyone who has access to your token can access your Discord bot, and if you believe your token to be exposed, press on the regenerate button right here. Anyways, once you've copied this, paste the token right in between the quotation marks right here. After pasting that, go back to your Discord server and copy the ID of the voice chat you'd like to use for proximity chat by right clicking on the voice channel and then clicking on the last option shown right here. Then paste the ID right between the quotation marks right here. Next, do the same thing for the category that the voice chat is located in. If it isn't located in one, I'd recommend creating a category by right-clicking in an empty space and then pressing on Create Category. After pasting all of these IDs into the file, you'll need to save your changes and then restart your Minecraft server. From here, all you have to do is have your players link their Minecraft accounts to their Discord accounts. If you are running a large server, 
It's best to create a channel with instructions on how to do this, so don't forget to let them know how this works. Anyways, the first step to linking your Minecraft and Discord accounts is to join the Minecraft server and the Discord voice chat. After doing this, you'll need to type star link and then your Minecraft username in the chat. After doing this, you'll get DM'd a private message from your bot with a code. Copy the code, and then paste it in your Minecraft server's chat. After doing this, you'll receive confirmation in-game and on Discord that your account has been linked. After you've completed this, it sorta of wraps up this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have got lost at any point throughout this video, you can join my Discord server, where I'll help you out in any way that I can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.